Italian art, principally Leonardo da Vinci. Yes, yes, Leonardo da Vinci, eh? Well, I'll have him here, too. up the phone number that fellow Professor Thistleweight was talking about yesterday, that uh, Leonardo da Vinci. But it don't seem to be in the phone book. Well, why don't you look in the dictionary? In the dictionary? Why, you fool, it wouldn't be in the dictionary. Certainly it would. Oh, it wouldn't. Well, the fellow that sold us that dictionary said it would. What are you talking about? How do you mean you said the dictionary would have Leonardo da Vinci's phone number in it? He said it was, uh, uh... Under Bridge Dictionary, didn't he? Yes. That it'd have everything in it. Well, what about it? So it must have that phone number. Oh, yes. Well, he didn't mean that. Now, let's see. Well, uh, who is this uh, Da Vinci fella, anyway? Hmm? The one uh, that's coming in here to pick up that package pal left? No, he ain't the fella that's coming in here to get the package pal left. The fella that's coming in after the package is named Newcomer. Newcomer. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Now, maybe it's under D. Well, uh, what do you reckon is in that package, anyhow, Zeb? Oh, I don't know. Heck, the shed uh, that uh, through the hole in the package, it looks something like a football suit. Let's see now. D, D, A. Oh, dag nab. It's a from the D's neither. Well, you'll find it if you look in the dictionary. Oh, you won't, to tell you. Well, why don't you look and see? Why don't you look and see instead of being so dad darn bullheaded? Yes, but I tell you it ain't there. Now, quit pestering me about the dictionary. Maybe it's under L here. Let's see. Well, uh, I'll look it up in the dictionary myself. I bet you I can find it. Yes, I suppose so. Go on and look it up, then. Uh, uh, say the fellow's name was uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, what did you say? say? Did you say the fellow's name was uh, Leonardo da Vinci? Yes, yes, Leonardo da Vinci. But you won't find his phone number in the dictionary. You, you, you're just wasting well, it. Well, it just is in the dictionary. What do you think of that? Huh? What? Oh, you're crazy, I tell you. Well, look at it. Look at it. Here it is. Right in front of your eyes. There. There's his phone number. Leonardo da Vinci, Italy, 1452. Hmm. Well, I'll be switched. Thank you, Mr. Dad, very smart. Well, he, he certainly must be an important fellow to get his phone number in the dictionary. Well, I suppose I'd better call him up and get it over with. What's that number again now? Italy, 1452. Uh, well, i central up here. Probably sleeping late again. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I want Italy one four five two. I say I want Italy one four five two. Italy. Italy. Yeah, all right. What's the matter there now? Oh, should it have to talk to long distance operator. Ah, uh, sure. Always trying to dodge work, ain't they? Yeah. Putting the work off on someone else. In fact. Hey, um, um, hello. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Five, two. Oh, Dad, Dingley, what's the matter with you gals? You all deep? I said Italy. Italy. Yes. The number is one, four, five, two. That's it. The fellow I want to talk to is Mr. Da Vinci. Yes, that's it. Oh, my name? It's Winterbottom. Oh, shucks. Well, all right. Dang it. Ain't he at home? Oh, she said it'd take a little time to get that connection. Said she'd call me back. You know, it's a pity a fella can't call a phone number without having to wait for this. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, How do you do? How do you do, mister? Gentlemen, I have something here that no business should be without. The finest form of advertising in the world. Something is going to bring people into your store. Here, take a look at this. (laughs) There you are. The static hole six. Yes, but uh, that's nothing but a radio set. How's that going to bring trade into the store? Why, with music. Music. If you want to influence people, play music. Haven't you ever heard the story of Orpheus? Orpheus? No. No, I never heard that one. 
Well, Orpheus was a wonderful musician. He played on the lyre. And mm -hmm. how's that? My partner's a mic hard to hear in, mister. You said a liar, Rib. Who? Why, the feller. Yeah, I figured he was, and then he started talking. I beg your pardon, but liar is a musical instrument. Oh. That's what Orpheus played on. It's something like a harp. And when he played it, even the trees and the rocks were moved. Played a harp and moved trees and rocks, huh? Yes, played a harp and moved trees and rocks. Ah, oh, sure. That's nothing. There was a fellow in our neighborhood that played a saxophone and moved six families. Yes, but I'm No, talking. no, no. I don't figure we need a radio, mister. Not no, today. No, no, you see... No, you no. Did. Wait a minute. Well, Wait a minute. Wait until you hear this set operate. You've got a treat coming. If you don't mind, I'll just hook it into this light socket right here. Yes, well, the fact you don't get your finger in there, I've got his in the other day and just about burned All off. right, just wait a minute. Yes, now. Uh, you say you got a treat coming, huh? Absolutely. Now, there you are. Now, you see this little dial here with a little knob? Yeah. Just twist that and you can get anything. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you like? Well, I'd sort of like a cup of coffee and a ham sandwich. Yeah, me too, and put some mustard in mine. No, no, I mean you can get any kind of radio program you like. Symphonies, jazz, comedy, drama, mysteries, serials. Yeah, yeah, I like them. Well, as a matter of fact, I do too. What's your favorite serial? Sherlock Holmes? No, uh, oatmeal. Oh, now, say, listen, I'm not talking about things to eat. I'm talking about programs, radio programs. And this set will bring in anything. Well, let's see it bring in that sack of taters out in front of the store. Oh, I mean anything on the air. It will get distant. Now, for instance, have you ever heard the station at New Brunswick? How's that? I say, have you ever heard New Brunswick? Why, no, mister. We ain't even heard the old one. New Brunswick's the name of a place. Say, what's the matter with you fellas anyway? Now, look here. You see this knob here? Yes. This little knob. Yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yes, I see that's that. the one. Well, that's for shortwave reception. Shortwave? Yes, yeah. yes it's shortwave. Mm -hmm. Now, you just turn that, and you can pick up police cars. Well, uh, for how much? Yes, if they don't want too much, we'd kind of like to pick up a good car. Ah, for Pete's sake. You, you don't. Oh, what's the use? Now, here, I'm going to turn this set on. And I want you to listen to the marvelous tone quality. Well, what do you think of that? Well, now, say, that's, that's pretty good and good, ain't it? I'll say it is. And did you notice how you could hear every single instrument? Notice there where the oboe came in? Well, uh, what's he looking for? Who? What was who looking for? That hobo that come in. I didn't say hobo. I said oboe. Oboe. That's a woodwind. A what? A woodwind. It's a woodwind. Yes, Eb, you know the old saying. It's a woodwind that nobody blows good. Oh, Say, do you want this set or not? No, no. My grandfather ran a store without a radio, and my father ran a store without a radio, so I reckon I can. Yeah? Well, I suppose if your grandfather and father ran a store without brains, you'd try and run a store without brains, too. No, I'd take the selling radio set. Say, look, I hear well, you. Uh, how much is that set, mister? Fifty bucks. Uh, Shakes, that's a mite of money just for radio set. Yeah, but put this set in your store, and inside of two weeks it will pay for itself. Paper itself? Oh, well, that seems fair enough. Yeah. Certainly. And besides, you want a radio to listen to the big game, don't you? Yes. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just leave this set here. You try it out for a day or two and see if you don't like it. Ah, uh, sure. I wouldn't listen to a dad darn football game if you paid me to do it. Well, now, never mind, Deb. We'll give it a trial anyhow. That's uh, sure. the ticket. And I'm telling you that after you've listened to it for a while, you're going to be crazy about this set. Crazy about it. Well... I'll drop in in the desk first of the week. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Yeah, goodbye, mister. Uh, come in again and... Yeah, Dad, darn fool, we don't want no radio. How can we afford to pay $50 for a radio? Man, don't have to pay it. Didn't you hear him say it'll pay for itself? Why, oh, uh, just a second. Here's that call. Him. Him. Uh, hello. Yes. Yes, this is Mr. Winterbottom. 
What? What? Wait, say, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, Ed. Yeah, what is it? What is it? They got me connected up long distance to Italy. 